Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm a global artist ambassador for Phoenix 360, and I'm blessed to be joined today by the model and actress Nancy Cullen. Hey, Nancy, how you doing? Hi, I'm doing great, thanks. <laughs> oh, listen, it's great to see you. Thanks for hooking up with me, Nancy. And listen, I would love to share some of your modeling images with our audience. May we do that now? Sure. Okay, super. Let's tune in now to some of the modeling work from Nancy Cullen. Hey, Nancy, beautiful work, and thanks for sharing with us. And now I'm interested in learning about you. Can you tell me where you're from and how did you get involved in becoming a model and an actor? Um, sure. So I grew up in Long Island, New York, and I went away to college in San Diego. And actually, that's where, I, I mean, I dabbled in modeling a little bit when I was here young, when I was younger, but it was more in San Diego where I started. And then um, once I graduated college, I went to um, spent a summer in Greece modeling and then went to Milan and Paris and kind of did the whole Europe thing. And then eventually ended up back in New York and modeled here and then kind of got into acting as well. Oh, it makes, listen, that, what a great journey. And look at all those different places you got to enjoy and to, yeah. to model on shoots, you know what I mean? Commercially, you know, getting paid to go to all these beautiful places, right? But I know that modeling is not all just fun and games. I know it's work and it can be very grueling and difficult too. But what great experience that you had. And now in New York and, and back home again and doing mm. more work, I assume. So let me let me learn now, like, you know, what, as far as that transition from modeling to acting, you know, do you take any um, classes or do you have to educate yourself? Or was it something that naturally you had the ability and gift to be able to present on screen? I think it's a, it's a little bit of both. I mean, I kind of naturally knew what to do, but I definitely took some courses and classes with different teachers just to like, learn different skills that I wasn't used to, you know, cause I didn't take theater or any of that stuff in college. I took actually marine science. So oh. I really had no acting background at all, but you know, as a model, you do like a Pepsi commercial or something and they're gonna give you a line and you speak. And so you know how to do the basics, but to do the more advanced stuff, that's where I took some classes. And I think that makes a lot of sense, you know what I mean? And that to actually like, you know, to work on your craft and study to some extent is gonna basically pay off no matter what in terms of, mm -hmm being applying, you know, applying that knowledge to your method and, uh, and to whatever the potential role could be. And so mm -hmm. let me ask this question, what are you working on now, Nancy? What's coming up for you? Um, well, I just worked on City on a Hill with Kevin Bacon. Wow. Um, they're in their third season already. And I worked last season too, right before the pandemic started. Like this literally like two days before everything went into shutdown. Um, so I play like a featured lawyer. Um, so basically Kevin Bacon just like cuts me getting to the elevator and tells me I have to take the stairs. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, I just worked on that actually yesterday. And then um, what else? Oh, they just did um, another breakfast, breakfast at Tiffany's, like a, re, a remake and um, Zoe Deutsch is in it. So I played just like a girl that was looking at jewelry at Tiffany's. Um, and then, yeah, so it's just, it's been kind of busy, which is nice because for a while, everything was, you know, with, with the COVID and everything, it's been kind of crazy. Right. Well, listen, I'm glad that things are really emerging for you. It's great to hear that, you know, just the Kevin Bacon, you know, scene. I love to get kind of an insight in for, you know, it's even available. We get to know, like, you know, that, that brush you have with him and, you know, on screen. Uh, yeah. and, and so at any rate, looking forward to all your work, Nancy, and, and following your progress. And listen, we're going to look forward to also you being on the Phoenix 360 app. And so I know I'm excited. Thank you. Oh, we are too. So let me ask this question then. Do you use your social media pretty actively to promote and present what you're doing? I do. I mean, I use, especially Instagram because I'm also, I have this app called Neon Coat and it's just um, for models and well, they have it in Miami and LA, but um, it was originated in New York because the model was from New York that uh, created this whole thing. And the concept is pretty amazing, especially for us, because we get to go to like all these different restaurants and um, even workouts and what else do I use? Oh, facials, like a lot of beauty treatments and it's all free um, or, or it's like a much discounted rate, like a $500 facial would be like $50 for us. But we just have to tag the establishment and put a photo of us on um, at the place and tag the establishment. So it kind of gives them publicity at the same time. So I, I use my Instagram all the time for that, um, whenever I'm using the unquote. Super. Well, I'm, I'm sure that, you know, some people watching our video will learn about it as well and, and, and yeah. participate. So that's really cool. And we are really looking forward to also you participating and discovering 
new fans and people to collaborate with in the industry on the Phoenix 360 app. So thank you, Nancy, so much for connecting with me today. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Everyone tune into the social media links you see below the interview for Nancy Cullen and look for her on Phoenix 360. Take care. Good luck with everything. Thanks so much. All right. Bye, Nancy. This is the true story of Joan Shannon. Her lover, Jeff, and her husband, David. A tale of sex parties. There would be people having sex with each other right in front of each other. Betrayal. She became more desperate to be with Jeffrey. She became more desperate to get rid of David and to end his life. And murder. Listen, Ernie, why don't we just go out to dinner? I'll have the waiter take photos of us. A young, beautiful woman on your arm will get plenty of people talking. Yeah, but that's not really much of a scandal. I know, but you should never underestimate the power of people's imagination. The power of gossip. See? Why don't we just have sex? You can take as many photos as you want. I can't have sex with a prostitute. Oh, uh, no offense. No offense taken, I think. <laughs>